heatmap.com. Uh, we'll click on the more button here. We'll go back to our knowledge base here. Uh, and uh, the, the correlation tracker was in the knowledge base in here, okay, under, under indicators as we scroll down under here. Okay, the um, uh, sweep and absorption indicator is not in the user guide section. It is in the add-ons section here. So we'll click on add-ons here. Uh, and this is where you'll find them. Uh, you'll see the bookmap add-ons list in the left margin here. Uh, and we'll kind of uh, uh, scroll down a little bit uh, and you can see the absorption indicator here. So we'll click on that and that will bring you to the absorption indicator area. And the, uh, uh, the right margin here shows you the kind of breakdown of the article in the middle. Uh, we'll click on installation that will pop us down to the installation guide in here. Uh, and then here's where you can download your indicator here for absorption. So click on that to download it. Okay. Now again, this works with the Bookmap India Pro version only. Okay. And uh, you'll need to uh, read through what version here, 7.1 uh, build 56 or 50, 57 here. Uh, that's likely not a problem. You're probably on 7.3. Uh, anyway, uh, go through the, uh, the add-on here. Again, I'll go through the process with you. Uh, so uh, we'll click on the um, uh, add-on configuration here. Uh, let me get rid of the absorption indicator and we'll add it. Let me get rid of this one as well. Okay, and let's add the uh, indicator. Go find it from my downloads here and I'll just uh, open it here. I'll load it and here it is. I'll select it and I'll click on the text. All right, and then here it is. Okay, so what is this showing here? Okay, so uh, we covered this uh, this indicator before, I believe, um, but uh, let's go through it in detail again. You, you can see that uh, uh, we see a pink number and a green number in here. Okay, so what this means is within 2.5 seconds, uh, this was uh, at least 5,000, and you can see it was 5,650 here. Uh, so it was over this, this number here, and within 2.5 2 seconds, the um, amount that traded there was uh, within that time frame, uh, but only at one price level. Okay, so we're looking for significant volume to trade within a very short time frame. Uh, and we'll go through the automatic mode here in a minute. Uh, but uh, it's very, very simple indicator. Uh, that's, that's all it does. Uh, but uh, if this is the case that we see uh, a lot that transact uh, within a very short time frame at one price level, likely there's a lot of limit um, uh, sell orders on the other side that is absorbing. Okay, because who's taking the other side of that trade? Uh, and uh, it, it, you know, it, it could be an iceberg, an iceberg order, a hidden order, um, but uh, likely uh, it's just a high liquidity in here. Okay, most common scenario is just very high liquidity here because okay, price was not able to trade through that area. Now, uh, you can play around with this setting in here uh, with the um, uh, automatic mode. Okay, so we'll click on and select automatic mode here. Uh, and there's a, a standard deviation interval here in minutes and then also a standard deviation multiplier. Okay, so the, uh, the, the deviation um, in minutes, we have 30 minutes here. You can input whatever you like in here for your value. Uh, and then the, the standard deviation multiplier. Well, uh, it's on 1.5 right now. So basically this kind of, it's just a fancy way of, uh, of trying, we're trying to make a filter here. Uh, we can use an like a mean average price or something like that, uh, but instead we're gonna use standard deviation, All right? So uh, uh, 1.5 standard deviations. If we play around with this in here, you'll see what happens. Okay, right now, remember we had 5,000 up here? Uh, right now it's grayed out and it shows 1565 or 66 here. All right, so, uh, and there's nothing selectable here though. All right, if we bump up the standard deviation, okay, to, to, uh, to 10, see how it says 7,501 7, now? Well, so within 30 minutes, 
uh, with the multiplier of 10 on the standard deviation, uh, this is what we got. So this was the output. So now uh, Bookmap is looking for to plot anything that traded that was over or equal to 705 or 7,501 within 2.5 seconds. Okay, so let's zoom out here, and what do we get? Okay, there's a few different values over here. That's it. Okay, so we're not getting too much out of it with that setting here. So let's go back to the automatic mode in here, and and why the automatic mode? Well. Because if we're using, if we're going to use standard deviation within a within a time frame here, uh, then we don't have to come back in here and always uh, play around with the settings. Uh, the settings are going to it's going to be changing. It's going to be uh, dynamic in here uh, due to the output of the time interval and the uh, the multiplier. Uh, so it's a great way to uh, um, kind of set and forget. So you don't always have to come in here and fiddle with, well, it's volatile now. I, I, I you know, I want to see something that is like, uh, uh, you know, 10,000 or so. Okay. So uh, anyway, uh, that's why we use this automatic mode in here. Uh, and you can see that uh, this one's giving us a lot better reading here. Okay. So uh, looking at uh, just, just uh, under uh, 5,000. Uh, and we're getting some pretty good readings in here. And here's a couple actually for um, uh, at 5,000. Uh, and uh, again, very, very simple. One price level within 2.5 seconds show me that, that much that uh, has, uh, has transacted. Now see how we have three in here right now and it says 39,350. It was aggregating them. If we zoom in here, it'll break it down and you'll see that each one has met that condition here. Okay, so uh, this one was, you can see one square here. So that was 18,550. The, here's our 7,000 or 7,150, and here's 13,650. Okay, so um, uh, anyway, that's the um, uh, um, output here uh, when you zoom in. Okay, when we zoom back out, well, instead of showing all those numbers clustered all together, we're just going to aggregate it into a bigger number. Okay, and give you the overall. You can still see the square here and where the where those transactions took place. Okay. And that will give you your, your reference in here. So a lot of a lot absorbed in that area here. Okay, a lot of selling, tons of selling that just came in, uh, and uh, yet at a few of these levels, um, uh, that that condition was met. Okay, so someone was on the other side and they got filled in that area here, and yet there was still more selling pressure. Now, how you can use this is we're looking right right at it right now. Okay, these were some big transactions. Look at buyers are back up here now. I'm looking to see buyers can pop above this area here uh, because there were a lot of buyers here on the bid that absorbed that selling. And see how we're above it right now? Great. That means that anyone that sold down here is going to get squeezed here on the upside. Okay. And it's due to exactly this in here. Okay. It's due to a few factors, but this is a big factor in here that uh, there was other buyers on the bid at these price levels here. Okay, so now we're looking for buyers up here and let's see if we can get a squeeze. Okay, a short squeeze here because these traders sold in here and now they're, uh, uh, you know, kind of on their back foot. Okay, so if we can get a little bit of pressure here, kind of break the top here and, and maybe come back up into like this uh, uh, 15, uh, eight, eight, six, seven area here. Okay. And I'm looking for a quick move, in fact, okay. because uh, uh, th this, these are it's going to be a, a, um, a, a book sweep and we'll go, we're going to go over a book sweep in, in just a minute here. Okay. Uh, very similar to this indicator here and uh, we we'll get insight from this one. Okay. So this is here's one way to use it. Okay. We're, we're, we're understanding that there is a lot absorbed in here. They're buying. Because if you didn't have this indicator, you'd be thinking, wow, this is a lot of selling and it should go lower. Well, now we're above that area here, though, and we knew there's a lot of buying in here that absorbed a lot of selling. Okay, So we're understanding the condition of the buyers and sellers in here, and we're looking for a scenario to unfold. We're looking for a short squeeze and we're looking for a move back up to the top of the range here. Okay, Now, what we need to find is buyers. 
And are we finding them? We're starting to find a few at the top here. Now let's see the push. And let's see if they can follow through. And let's see if we get a book sweep. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm looking for more. Uh, and and let's, go, let's go back and, and we're gonna cover now a, a use case scenario of the book sweep uh, and put that together with this absorption indicator. All right, so we'll go back to studies configuration uh, and uh, let's uh, just uh, remove it for now. Uh, and I wanna show you again how to add it here. Okay, so uh, uh, the first thing to do is we go to bookmap.com, click on the more button here, and we go to the bookmap knowledge base again. Okay, now we're in the user guide section of the knowledge base. We want to go to the add-on section here. On the left margin here, we're, we're going to click on the sweeps indicator. Uh, and uh, in the right margin, we're, we're going to kind of drill down to uh, the installation area here. Uh, and we're going to click on download here. And download the jar file. Okay, now we'll go back to bookmap. And we'll click on configure add-ons. And we're going to add the add-on and we're gonna go find it. Okay, I know it's in the download file, and here it is, sweeps indicator. Double click on it, select it, load it, select it here, and then click on the text here. All right, now, uh, let, what is this one showing here? Well, it is um, one small difference between this and the absorption indicator. So the, um, uh, we're looking at 2.5 seconds again. Okay, now let's just kind of bump it up a little bit uh, and uh, we'll put in our standard deviation, etc. cetera, uh, get some sort of output here. Let's just bring it down to 0.1, 1.5. All right, uh, so 30 minutes and 1.5 standard deviation. Uh, the output is gonna be about 3,169. Uh, Okay, so uh, now the big difference here between this and the absorption indicator, it's the only difference in fact, uh, uh, is that this is for multiple price levels. So show me here that uh, uh, within this time frame, uh, we had this much transact, but over two different price levels here. A minimum of two. It could be more. It could be three. It could be five. It could be ten. Uh, so uh, it, whatever you want to input here. So basically, we're looking for a quick move, but it swept all those areas. It wasn't absorbed. Uh, it was swept. Okay. And a, a sweep is something like that fast move we were looking for in here. Okay. And we did get it. Okay. Uh, we we got it back up to the top of the range, and now it failed up here. And we wanted to see it at least come back up in here and maybe it could break out. Okay, but at least to move up into here uh, and we got it. Okay, we're looking at this 876 area here and it came just maybe a little shy of it, but uh, uh, basically up to it. Okay, uh, and uh, multiple price levels in here again. Uh, now this was a sweep ab absorption in these little areas in here, but a book sweep as well on the way down. Okay. Uh, that uh, this condition was met that within this time frame we see uh, multiple price levels in here. Okay, so we're getting kind of both readings in here with absorption and sweep, uh, but um, uh, and that's okay. Uh, we know that this was a quick move to the downside uh, and uh, a lot transacted. A lot stayed in the order book and absorbed price uh, action as well. Okay, so we knew that there's buyers in here on the bid uh, getting filled. Right, so we also can see here these sweeps uh, uh, to, the, to the downside. Now, one of the nice things about the sweep indicator uh, is showing uh, typically, um, well, it's, it's a quick move over multiple price levels and lots that traded. That is indicative of a stop run. Okay, it's, uh, it may or may not be a stop run, but uh, uh, likely it is. And you'll likely see these sweeps uh, at extremes. Okay, so again, you can start to use these indicators all together here uh, and add uh, a lot more uh, confluence to your, your trading, uh, your trading style. So for example, uh, you, you see a move outside of the area here 
uh, and it's a book sweep, but you see sellers come back in. Um, well, here is where actually we want to see the sellers come back in. Uh, and we can start to see them in here. Okay, great. So I'm looking to see if we can see sellers come back down here a little bit lower here. Okay, and then a move back down to the low. Okay, the swing low here. All right, because this would be our, we're looking for our book sweep up into this area here. It failed, it came back down into the range. Uh, and we'd look for a move back to point of control or VWAP in here. Our VWAP is still down here, but our point of control is likely here. Uh, and that move has already taken place. Okay, so, uh, uh, you know, if this is a stop run to the upside due to the book sweep, uh, you can look at those areas and then look for a mean reversion trade back to uh, uh, the middle of the range here, or maybe even the other side of the range. Let's see if we can get it here. Uh, let's see if we get some sellers in here uh, and then a move back down to the bottom of the range here. Okay, I'm looking for it. We test it up here. I want to see it test back down here, and I'm looking for sellers to try to sweep the book down into this lower level here uh, and get some uh, some people stopped out on the way down. All right, so uh, anyway, uh, very, very simple indicators, uh, and um, uh, we can go through the different settings in here as well. We went through the main ones here. Uh, you can put in a sound alert here as well, uh, and then some of these um, uh, are display uh, settings here, visual displays. So you can, um, it's a global setting. You can show the icon here. Uh, it's this little icon here. If you don't want to show that, they'll deselect it. But you can show the value or not, not see the value. Uh, you can change the icon size uh, and um, the offset and then also the um, uh, offset line uh, uh, width here. Okay, so uh, anyway, these are some of the settings in here. Uh, something that's um, important to mention here with the icon size, you'll note this. Okay, see see the um, um, the relationship here in the uh, uh, the different sweeps. Okay, now if I make the icon size bigger, basically what happens is they start to overlap, and once they start to overlap, they're going to aggregate together. Okay, you can see it here, right? Ninety one hundred. If I, if I zoom out, you'll see 4750, uh, uh, 4350, right? So that's another way to, uh, uh, you know, if you want to look at more kind of an aggregated view uh, as well. If you don't like it, but you you still want to look at a bigger size, well, then you can just you're just going to have to zoom in here. Okay, as uh, simple as that. All right, uh, show the um, uh, the trade dot. Uh, that's the uh, the square. Uh, you can. You know, look at the dot size, the dot shape. It can be round or it can be a square, whatever uh, you prefer. Uh, and then you have the different uh, uh, colors here as well. Okay. All right. So I think that's it. Uh, let's just uh, let's take a look again here. We'll go through it uh, and um, go back to true data here. Uh, scroll back down and take a look. Okay. So. Bookmap Basic, uh, India Basic in India Pro, and uh, you get the cumulative volume delta with the uh, the Bookmap Basic, uh, and then the India Pro you get cumulative volume delta and the rest of the gamut here. Okay, all the different indicators that we just went through.